Russia may use tactical nuclear weapons that have less power. Ukraine warned. Russian leader Vladimir Putin could order the use of tactical nuclear weapons if the Russian army is defeated in Ukraine, Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine Alexander Litvinenko said in an interview with The Times. We cannot rule out anything if Russia is on the verge of a catastrophic defeat, Litvinenko said. Such a defeat, he said, could lead to the collapse of Russian fronts, desertion from the army and protests in Moscow. At the same time, according to the Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, there is no likelihood that Putin will use nuclear weapons as long as Russia has an advantage in the war. Also, according to him, even in this case, most likely Russia will use tactical nuclear weapons that have less power. It is unlikely that Putin will use strategic nuclear weapons, which would almost certainly provoke a third world war, since he wants to live, Litvinenko emphasized. Litvinenko also argues that a Russian defeat on the Ukrainian battlefield will not automatically lead to Moscow's use of nuclear weapons, since Putin may try to convince his people that such a defeat is actually a victory. After the outbreak of a full-scale war, Russia repeatedly threatened the world with nuclear weapons for one or another assistance to Ukraine. At the end of February, Putin threatened tragic consequences for countries that send troops to Ukraine. In particular, the dictator spoke about the real threat of nuclear war, which would mean the destruction of humanity. NATO's Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said the alliance is discussing the possibility of putting more nuclear weapons on alert in the face of the growing threat from Russia and China. He said that direct consultations are underway between NATO members regarding the removal of missiles from storage and bringing them to combat readiness. I won't go into operational detail about how many nuclear warheads should be operational and how many should be stored, but we need to consult on these issues. That's what we're doing, he said. At least eight people were killed and several others were injured as a cargo train collided with a passenger train in India's eastern state of West Bengal on Monday. Nearly 50 people were hospitalized after the incident that occurred in Darjeeling district, a tourist spot located in the Himalayan foothills. Three of the eight killed people were railway personnel, the spokesperson of the Northeast Frontier Railway Sabyasachita said. Doctors, disaster response teams and ambulances are at the site of the incident, the state's chief minister Mamata Banerjee said in a post on social media platform X. The footage of one train rammed into the end of the other, with one compartment rising vertically in the air, has been aired by local television channels. The driver of the cargo train disregarding a signal card caused the collision. The driver was among the killed persons. Four compartments at the rear of the passenger train had derailed due to the impact. Most of the cars were carrying cargo while one was a passenger coach, Sabyasachi Da stated. The Kanchenjunga Express that connects West Bengal state with other cities in the northeast of India is often used by tourists who travel to Darjeeling Station, a popular destination for tourists during summer season. Oh, <laughs> 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 